All right, today I'm going to talk about alcoholic wet brain. This is another video in our series that we've, we started um, a couple of months ago. Um, today I want to talk about the three major symptoms of the first stage of wet brain, which is wernicke korsakoff syndrome. Um, wet brain, uh, aka wernicke korsakoff syndrome, uh, aka alcohol dementia, um, is most frequently the result of alcohol use. And as I said, it's part of uh, two separate conditions. The first one is Bernicke's encephalopathy, and the second one is Korsakoff's psychosis. And the second one is a progression of the first. And wet brain comes from the fact that uh, it's mostly affected um, by drinking alcohol. So um, the people that are mostly affected by this are alcohol drinkers. There are three main types of symptoms of the first stage of wet brain or Wernicke's encephalopathy. Uh, before we start, this video is sponsored by HabitsV2.com. If you're looking to, um, to get help to stop drinking alcohol and more particularly to start building the best possible version of yourself, you can check out the link below this video um, to our personal coaching program. Tons of step-by-step -step premium content videos, a community that's growing every day with members from all over the world, live coaching sessions, and I'm there every day to help you in any way that I can. So click on the link down below this video for more information. The first three major symptoms are a result of um, thiamine deficiency, B1 deficiency. 19% of patients who show up with, um, who are first diagnosed with this, don't show any of these symptoms, but the rest of them do. But these people, even the 19%, they're gonna show one or more of these as the disease progresses. The first symptom is a weakness or a paralysis in the eye muscles. This is something I thought I had at the beginning um, or towards the end of my drinking. One of my eyes was just act acting weirdly. Um, even a, a couple of weeks after I'd stopped drinking alcohol, I had a, a strange eye sensation, um, but I put it down to, I suppose, stress at the beginning. Um, now this first symptom, um, it affects any of the six eye muscles that control the eye movements or they, they hold the eye actually in place. This condition is called ophthalmoparesis and it can cause this thing called dancing eyes where one or both of the eyes has just got rapid eye movement. Um, the second symptom is a change in your overall mental state. So it can uh, manifest itself in many different ways, confusion, inability to concentrate, um, confusion about where you are, apathy. The second major symptom is a change in overall mental state. So this can manifest itself in many different ways, uh, confusion, uh, the inability to concentrate, confusion about where you are, apathy, so on. Um, the third major symptom is called ataxia. And this is where a person loses some of their or all of their muscle coordination, their balance, it can affect their speech, it can affect when they're picking up objects, again, eye movements, swallowing, uh, and it's caused by damage to the cerebellum. Now, again, these are avoidable in the case of alcohol users, right? So the first thing that you need to consider is whether or not you should be stopping drinking alcohol. Um, you know, there is, no, um, there is no safe limit for drinking alcohol. Uh, a lot of people say there's benefits, there's health benefits, but um, I think that if there's any health benefits, they're far outweighed by the problems that are caused by even moderate drinking of alcohol. But it's your choice. Um, you don't have to drink this poison. It's something that can be avoided. And just think about it from the perspective that when we're talking about wet brain syndrome, we're not talking about just this syndrome alone. You know, this is when the brain has got to a certain level of damage. But just think about your brain capacity in general. You know, the things that you do, thinking, you know, your perception, your decision making. You know, this is all going to be reduced when you put a poison like alcohol inside your body. If you want to get to that best possible version of yourself, you've got to have full control of your brain. And you don't when you're, you're allowing a poison to get through that blood-brain barrier, straight into your brain, straight affecting everything that you do, you know. So um, 
If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, uh, please subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification and you'll be notified for any videos that are coming up soon. We'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. I'm Kevin O'Hara for Habit Speed 2 on the